Happy Saturday, Texas, and welcome to the Connect Network TV. Every week, we sit down with movers and shakers in business that have created success, and today is no different, so get excited. Alexandra has a day off, and my other co-host, Amanda, will join me later in the show as we discuss healthy tips for that summer body that we all want to have. But first, we have an incredible show. Winnie Griffin is sharing why people pleasing is out, 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 out. And are you guilty of that? You won't want to miss this. Her tips on how to take back your life are incredible. And we also have the phenomenal, incredible Tara Holder. She is here and listen, we are going to need her tips. With the forever changing algorithm, we had to bring in a pro to the show that knows what is trending this summer on social media and how we can maximize our exposure and money online. Now, Tara is not your average marketer. She's a trailblazer, a trendsetter, and a force to be reckoned with. Her company, TJ Creative, is the heartbeat of the cutting edge social media strategies that will make your jaw drop and your competition sweat. Yes, people sweat. And she is kicking things off first on your Saturday. Welcome to the show, Tara. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Tell me, how does social media management contribute to building a strong online presence for individuals and businesses? And how does it foster like meaningful connections with the audience? Yeah, so I think it's it's definitely the new way of marketing, right? Um, out with the old, in with the new. I know it's hard for a lot of people to um, convert over to social uh, media for their marketing, um, but it is the only way that I see it going forward in the future. So the faster you can get over there and uh, understand it, the the more success and the quicker success you'll have. Um, I have found that businesses that struggle with um, online presence is usually just because they don't know what to do and they don't know what to post or what's valuable. Um, and so we have strategies uh, put in place to help people kind of un unveil that about themselves and their business. So tell me, what are some of the key elements of successful content and how do you develop content pillars that align with a brand's message and target audience? Uh, content pillars are really just bases of content that you build into. Um, that can be educational content, inspirational content. Um, content you want to hit on is things that you align with as the owner or as the spokesperson for the business, and then pain points of what maybe your audience is looking or needs from you, from your product. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how do you know, like when someone is actually real and when it's just like a robot or it's just some, you know, like a fake account when they're sitting there when you get so many, you know, per day, per week, and they're offering you their services? Yeah, I think, I think definitely carrying it over from DM to, to email is, is initial. I know a lot of companies reach out to people and are like, I'll give you a discount code if you buy this and then share that. I think that is going to be, that's become very spammy. And it's like mm -hmm. a lot of, um, and I do think it's kind of put a wedge between people kind of doing that research and reaching out on their own. But just saying like, um, initially I always say, Hey, I have a client. They are super, they're working on influencers campaigns. Um, we discovered you are super interested in working. Would you mind sending your media kit, uh, to this email? And then we can carry the conversation over there. I would say there is a lot of spammy stuff out there right now. That's like, Oh, we'll give you a discount code if you buy mm -hmm. this many items and then share it and like that kind of stuff. So definitely knowing research, the company that's sending you the message and kind of look into maybe some of the other influencers that have worked with them and do definitely do your research on that end. That's a great tip. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. So as far as strategies, what do you recommend for small businesses or individuals like myself to effectively leverage social media amidst its rapid evolution? You yeah, know? I know you kind of, you mentioned that and like tools and things that we use and there's so many tools and every day there's a new tool. Um, to make it easier. And with the evolution of AI, that is even more uh, going to be more prevalent that we're going to have AI doing a lot of the work for us. Um, but we use uh, some of the main things that I know that we use on a daily basis is Canva. 
obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you can make so many infographics. You can uh, make your content just a little bit more engaging. You can brand it so that it is uh, uh, fits your brand. I think brand is super important in building a social um, audience or brand or product or whatever. You need to have you need to have consistency in your fonts and your color codes and all your things. Um, and Canva allows you to do that. So I would say Canva is a number one. I use CapCut for editing video. It's on your phone. Um, it offers a lot of oper um, like same things that you would get on maybe a more expensive editing platform, but you can do it um, on your phone. And then we use for planning, we use later for some of our, because we're such, we have big, a lot of clients, so it's easy to manage. But for like somebody that's doing it on their own, I would say Planoly or Unum, um, those are great for you to organize your content. They allow you to kind of put your content into those boxes and then organize it and see what it's going to look like on the feed before you ever go live with the content, if that makes sense. Um, so I think also There's it's still, important. I'm sorry, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's important that you definitely like identify what you're good at. If you're great at video, then def go more towards that. If you are better at writing, then go hard in your captions. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's very important for you to also identify the things that you, that are comfortable for you. I love it. And how about like for our viewers that are just viewers on the show and don't have mm -hmm. social media, um, how about your website? Yeah. You share www.tj-creative.com. And there you will find a little bit about the agency. Again, we have a great newsletter that goes out weekly with social media updates. We have, um, so if you sign up for our newsletter, you're probably going to get a lot of the same stuff that goes into the podcast. Um, yeah, you'll be able to contact us there. We have a blog. We try to keep you informed and up to date with all things social. So there you have it. Tara does it all. She has all yeah. the platforms. And even if you're not on social media, I mean, what better way than to get started by connecting with Tara? So go follow her, you know, go check her out, check out their pages and get started. Don't go anywhere because coming up next, are you a people pleaser that finally feels like I just can't do it anymore? Well, our next guest is here to help. So don't move. We'll be right back.